thank you for joining me welcome to anybody that's new um we just do all things nails on here uh what i was going to do today i cracked straight on was i was going to show you doing a gel overlay with builder gel on natural nails because i did my nails with uh, an aqua gel and i built them up i've had them on for months so i took this hand off and i put some uh builder gel on from my melee now I was going to do that today, but in the meanwhile, some PRs come. So if you want to see that, uh, if you sub and click the bell, you'll know when I upload it. Because I've got this hand to do. Okay, so I'll do that. But today I need to crack on because this is a PR one. So I want to get this done first. And thank you very much, I Mailey. They've sent me today a set of gel polish. Can't go wrong. Um, and this is a set of six. And it's kit number 12. So what I love about it is these kits have all got numbers, so you'll remember what you've bought and what you haven't. Um, so we'll have a look at those. I've no idea what colours I've got in it. And then they've also sent me this, which is a nail tips and nail uh, glue gel kit. So it's going to be uh, a little lamp as well, apparently. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, I've got no it. Right, so, uh, it's coming. Blimey. Oh, I wonder if it is pink. <laughs> That's lovely. Oh, now, these are natural coloured tips. So, what else is in here? So this is the nail glue to stick the tips on. So we'll see what sort of consistency this is. I don't know if you know, but it's HEMA free. They redid all the formulas uh, a bit back. I can't remember exactly when, uh, but they're all HEMA free. I, I've had these on for weeks and they've not bothered me one bit. So, uh, yeah, we've got natural coloured tips. I think these are nice. Uh, colour if you want to do natural looking uh, natural looking nails I think they're a fabulous colour to have at the end right so I'll do a set of nails with those with the nail glue so what we'll do first is I'll get these uh, out and we'll do some swatches I've been using this cuticle oil it's really nice it's really nice it's just wheat germ oil and uh, my cuticles look smashing. Yeah, so, oh, right, get some swatch sticks ready. Swatch, swatch, uh, swatch sticks ready. These are few to say. Uh, and I'll be back in a bit. Just having a look at my, this lamp before I put my gloves on. Um, I'm not going to use that today. I'm going to use my one that I can stand on my desk, but it is pink. It's pretty. It's really pretty. And I'm not going to open it. Uh, because I'm, I can put it in the giveaway then. I can put that in the giveaway. So, I'll pop that in the little drawer. And, uh, yeah. So I'm taking them out. So these are the colours in this set 12. I can tell straight away these are going to be just my cup of tea. Uh, oh, five, 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 six, seven. So they go 055 to 060. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <gasps> Neon. Oh, these are right. These are stunning. Let's get started. So. Uh, better zoom you in. Hold on. Go oh, steady. How's that? That'll do. So, zero five five. Wow. Oh, my word. Oh. 
that is stunning. Oh, with the tan, that's going to be just beautiful. Right. Okay, 056. Just as vibrant. If you've never tried iMaily before, these are not the thickest polishers, but they're always very opaque, unless they're designed to be a jelly type. Now, I don't like polishers that are too thick, or should I say I prefer them, where they've got a good coverage, but they're thinner. If you're doing unnatural nails anyway. Oh. Lovely. So 057. Oh, you get your gel polishes. How excited do you get? You get like little butterflies when you're opening it. You're like, oh, wonder what I've got today. Oh, I can't describe that. Um, Blackberry. Blackberry Cooley. Actually, it's a mis mix between blackberry and raspberry, I would say. Stunning. Love it. Oh. Perfect for summer. Okay, so 058. Yeah, this is your blackberry or blackcurrant. Wow. This is slightly jelly if you have one coat. Can you see through it? Slightly jelly that one, but I'll give it a second coat and 059, this is out of the box. This is a blue by the look of things. Oh. Ooh. So this is back to one of the very opaque ones. Pretty. Not what I would have expected to come in this set, but nevertheless, it's pretty. And then the last one, I think we're in towards the lilac. Yeah. But not too pastel a lilac. Oh, it's still bright. Some people call this purple, we call it lilac. Or lavender. Wow. Very pretty. Mm. I'll have to file that off. I hate it when we swatch sticks have got little bits on. Right, let's give him a second coat. I'll top coat it and I'll show you the lot and then I'll decide what I'm doing as a set. Right, so here they all are. Aren't they beautiful? Really nice. So this is set 12, like I said, from 055 Some uh, gels are available separately on the Armelie website uh, and others are kits of 6 and 12 and whatever. But I've got a discount code I'll put you in the description box for the website or you can find uh, some of these on Amazon. So brilliant. Right, let's get Eve ready. I'll give her some nail beds and then we'll have a look at this kit with the, with the glue. 
and then out it. So I've put some fake nail beds in there, so pretend they're your own. So what I've done is um, I've taken off the shiny surface uh, and then you want to wipe down with your alcohol. Uh, use your dehydrator. Uh, use any primers that you want to use. So just make sure we've no dust left on that. So use any primers you want to use. And then with these tips, now you could probably use these as like a pop-off method because they're not etched on the inside. They're super smooth. So you would do it as like a jewel form. Do it and then put something sharp just under the end, pop it off and you've got your built nail with something like poly gel or a really thick gel. Uh, but I think this is going to be more of a runny consistency, this glue. I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, and I want them to stay on. So what you do is you've etched your own nail uh, just to take the shiny surface off. And then I'm just going to etch on the inside of that. And just for speed, I'm just going to use this little diamond bit and just etch about the length of where the nail bed would be. That's it. So I'll do that to all of them and then we'll stick them on. I've already sized them up so they're just slightly bigger than the nail bed. Now if you don't have an e-file to, e to etch the inside of these and, and they're, they're quite a, a groove on there so it might be difficult to get in with your uh, sander. Um, one thing that I found is great is, do you know the stone um, cuticle pushback tool? It's rounded, that will get in there and otherwise you can use some acetone on a brush or some primer and that'll take the shine off. So that's that. Now it's going to be slightly different to if I was doing this on my own finger. If I'm doing it on my own finger I will just hold it like this, turn it upside down Put the glue on there and then from the cuticle I'd lower it down like that and then I'd hold it while I put it under the lamp. See, like that. But it's going to be a bit more difficult on Eve. So what I have to do is think of a way to hold it so I can do that and bring the lamp across as well. So what I tend to do is hold it in my left hand so that I can put my finger underneath. Unfortunately, she don't move her fingers out of the way. So I'm going to need to do that and then bring the lamp in. Okay, right, so I'll just base coat these and then we'll get that done. So. I've brushed it on and I'm just going to put the excess at the bottom. Okay, so at the cuticle, get rid of any air bubbles, keep hold of it, and there. These are a lovely shape. I'm just going to go around that top edge with um, just a 240 file, just in case any is coming out. But yeah, no bubbles or anything. Lovely shape. I like them. So I'll get these finished off and I'll come back and we'll do some sort of design. Right, they're all done and I've taken off the shiny surface and I've just gone around the cuticle with. Uh, a 240 file and I've got my other swatch sticks out because I've decided I love all the colours but I've just done a bright pink set so I want to do a uh, lilac I'm going to use the lilac and blue for a change for me and I've pulled out this foil which is uh, lilacs blue green pink uh, and white but I want another background so I've pulled these two out which are from set 14 or kit 14 and they are 323 and 324 so 
I'm going to try and incorporate a bit of that because that glitter uh, on 324 looks gorgeous over these colours. So I want to bring some of that in. So I'm going to do the backgrounds probably in this 323, which is very, very pale grey. So uh, I merely have their own foil glue, which is in a nice 15ml bottle. So, right, I'll base coat them all and we'll come back and put some colour on. So I've given it one coat of 323. I'm just going to give it a second coat. It's a beautiful grey, this. It's a vibrant, gorgeous colour. This is slightly difficult because I've set my light up, I'm having to look round it. Oh, look at that, you can wear that, just that. Wow. So I've put a coat of uh, matte top coat on. Doesn't that look pretty in matte? Wow, I like that. Uh, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, foil glue on my palette. Because I don't want to cover the nails completely. And uh, I'm going to use a liner brush. So I'll do the two middle ones first. So I'm going to go to there. Let's see if I can see where I'm going. Cured that for 60 seconds and I'm going to do where do I want it? I want it. Just the flowers down that left hand side. So there they are, it's very subtle. But I'm going to paint in some uh, lines with this uh, lilac and blue. So this one's going to go all the way down. <clears throat> Ooh, 
a bit jiggly. I'm going to freeze it so I don't uh, make a mess. So they're done. I've just got the top coat, but before I do, I just thought I'd show you. If I do a foil and it goes right to the edge, before I'll top coat, I'll just take a file down so that my top coat can come over it. seal it in so I'm quite pleased with them I think they're really pretty I like them I like them I change my mind as I'm going along but that's what I do uh, and thank you to Amelie A I oh, start again I'm Amelie <laughs> for sending me these um, colours they're absolutely lovely so this is kit 12 so I'll put you some links below and you can have a look. Please don't forget to click the like if you've enjoyed the video, got something from it at all. And if you want to come back and see whether I've managed to keep some of the nail growth underneath my extensions um, and get them to look anything like the left hand with the uh, built gel overlay. So don't forget to subscribe. If you click the bell, it'll let you know when I've done those. Oh, so it should be in the next couple of days. Thanks again. Love you. Don't forget to look after each other and take care. Bye.